What's up guys, we're back. A few days later after you saw, I just did the oil change on this. I meant to do the oil filter as well. I mean, sorry, I meant to do the fuel filter as well. But the issue is, I have to show you guys this. Let me pop the hood real quick. It's not a normal fuel filter and fuel bowl cap. So I don't know if this was changed, you know, in the past, if someone got some off-brand stuff. I typically, like, whenever I do anything, I like to stick with, you know, the actual manufacturer's parts. So for this example be, you know, I would do use Motorcraft. But for here, if I lift this lid up, I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me grab a light real quick. All right, so if you guys can see, that fuel bowl cap is different than normal. So I don't know if there was some off brand one that whoever used in the past, the original owner, I don't know. Either way, it's different. And I go to buy a brand new fuel filter. The gasket doesn't match up for the cap and the filter look completely different than the one that's in there. So. You guys helped me out with that. I went and got the one that it called for from Motorcraft, and I'm going, I'm going to be putting that one in there, but I want to get a new cap. I want to get the original one just so that it works with the gasket. Everything works together. I just don't want to throw this new filter in there and leave the gasket. I mean, the gasket's good on the fuel bowl cap, but it's not you know worn out or anything. But, I mean, it needs to be replaced. I want to do full service on this thing. So, regardless, yeah, that's what... Uh, I'm kind of worried about it. I don't know if what if that, that was changed or whatever, but if you guys know anything about it or have seen that similar kind of cap, then let me know in the comments. I would like to know what you guys think on that. Um, because again, the gasket that comes with the fuel filter for the actual cap is bigger. So obviously it's not the stock cap. I know that, but we'll see. So either way, I'm going to wait until I get a cap on that and maybe hear from you guys on that. But Today, what we're going to do is we're going to grease up all the ball joints, tie rods, all that good stuff underneath the front end of the truck. Um, this driver's side ball joints, upper and lower ball joints, they don't actually have like uh, a grease fitting on it to actually grease them up. So, but I did replace the passenger side ones because they had a little bit of play in them when I originally got the truck. So, what I did was I replaced them myself. Um, and then from there, I'm just going to grease them up. So, uh, you guys can. You know, watch me while I grease up all this, you know, this front end here. And then as well, what we're going to do today is finally get to installing this new mag high tech transmission pan and then replace the transmission filter. That's going to be kind of the big part of today's video. But overall, really what I'm actually trying to do now is I'm kind of on prep to get everything running, you know, properly, all filters changed. Fluids change other than the rear diff. Um, I actually plan to do that soon enough, you guys. Um, Got to put a new diff cover on there. So we'll see about that. We're not going to change that, but definitely want to change the fluid. So oil change need to be done. Fuel, oil filter done. Fuel filter need to do that. Change the air filter, cabin air filter, things like that. Um, and then as well as grease up all the joints. Uh, make sure that they're they're good. You know, right? They want to make sure that they have enough grease in them. Everything is proper on them. So. Gonna grease all those down and then as well, we're gonna tra change that transmission pan because it is leaking. I don't know if you guys saw it in the video that I did for the exhaust, but we got an oil leak and we got a transmission leak. So I'm pretty positive it's from the pan itself, but either way, I wanna get that crappy pan out of there um, and get it, you know, a really nice pan in there. And as well as just put new fluid in it because I don't know when the last time it was done. Um, I'm pretty sure James, um, the guy I bought it off of, he also has a YouTube channel. If you guys want to check him out, James Cooper Ryder, really good dude. This guy I bought the truck off of, and he kept very good care of it. But I think he said that originally he changed all the fluids on it. Regardless, either way, if he did or didn't, I think it needs to be done anyway. So I went ahead and bought all, you know, like, I think I have, like, 15 quarts or 16 quarts of transmission fluid just in case. I think this thing calls for just shy of 16 quarts. Um, but we're going to drain, you know, the transmission pan and the sucky thing about it, it does not have a drain plug. So I'm going to have to just pull the whole tra uh, the pan off, easily drain it out into this bucket that I got. Same with that oil uh, change from there. Put the new pan on. Um, and that one already has a pre-built gasket in it. So you guys can see right here, 
has that pre-built gasket already in it. Um, so we're gonna clean that thing up, put that new this new filter in. Um, and since this is like a deeper pan, we did have the four by four pan. It's got the deeper you know, pickup on it. Uh, so we got that all right. Um, we're gonna change that. And again, what we're gonna do as well is then um, drain the torque converter as well. And then from there, fill it up with so many quarts, uh, however many quarts, I think it's like seven or eight quarts. Give it a start up, let it run, check it on the cold side and see where we're at with the level. Once it's in the cold side, then I'm gonna have to sit there and shift it through the gears, like it, it, 10 seconds on each gear um, and just let it cycle through the, the transmission. And then from there, go out, check it again. And if we're good on the cold side, then we'll go out and take it for a test drive and then see where it goes after it warms up and gets up on the hot side of the dipstick and see where we're at with the level. So overall, this is this is maintenance that needs to be done because again, I'm kind of on like a maintenance prep in a say because I'm making a three hour road trip to the beach, um, Ocean City, Maryland. If you guys don't know, every year, twice a year, they have cruising week. So I'm looking forward to going to that. I want to bring this thing down there. Got something else that I'm going to do for that as well in another video coming for you guys. Uh, but really, we just want to get this thing cleaned up and running well so that it can make that three hour trip with no issues, making sure everything's maintained. Um, and overall, it's just good to maintain your trucks. So like I said, guys, I'm going to get to greasing this uh, front end up. And then from there, we'll get into this transmission. So I'll see you on the tripod. joints and well <laughs> this side's ball joints and tie rods and bushings and everything are all greased up so we should be good on that end something i've been dying to do and needing to do is but this um so i'm glad that that's done that's a definitely you know check on my box of maintenance and things that i wanted to make sure we're getting done so all right cool now let's move to the transmission pan all right guys so i don't have like a mini you know like three eighths inch impact but i have a drill with a 10 millimeter and that's what this size is yeah oof dang well let's see what we can do i want to start by draining it from back here so start by doing that Slowly starting to drip. There we go. Yeah, like you can see this gasket is like pushing out of here. It looks like it's cracked right there. That could be the obvious issue to this leak.
make sure it stays up. And I want to be able to gently bring this down. Just like that. And there we go. All right. I can see there's like little indentations. There's a crack. No, not a crack, sorry. Just let me pull this off and look at this. Yeah, there's a crack right here. That could have been a cause. That was up near the front of this. Because it wasn't like crazy leaking, but it was, I mean, dripping a good bit, you know? So, overall, the thing looks clean. Everything looks good. I'll let this keep draining. But what we can do is, this is the transmission filter. We can replace it, and like I said, I got a 4x4 one because the pan that I got is deeper than this one, um, this stock pan. So, we can go ahead and at least look through this as well. Kind of take a look at the fluid and see what the, if there's any metal shavings in it or not. Doesn't really look like it. Looks a little old. So. And junk around the magnet, which is fine. It's normal for these. But overall, it doesn't look terrible. But either way, we're going to change all it today. Thing underneath looks good. So I clean my hands up. I have the new transmission filter here. I'm gonna pull this old one out, and there should be some more transistor fluid. It got on my face. <laughs> I figure it out, and <laughs> that got me right in the face. So let me try to pull this thing out. Got my pick. There she goes. Shit out of there. Oh. All right, slide this in there. Just like that. She's in. All right, surface looks clean, good to go. Time to throw this new transmission up. Our pan. New transmission, we're putting a whole new transmission in it. No. All right, guys, so maybe you can hear me or not. It's a little loud in this garage, but we have the truck running. We put eight quarts in it, um, and right now I'm letting it run for a little bit in park and then going to check to see you know, what the level is. And I want to get it into the cold range right so i want to see what it's sitting at at cold once i get it on the cold i'm gonna sit there and shift it into um, from park to reverse to neutral drive i'm gonna put it in all those for 10 seconds each and then back up and then from there check it again check to see if all the fluids are good and then from there go take a test drive once i take the test drive i want to come back and then check and see if it's on the high or the hot level so we're gonna let that happen and i'll, I'll check back in with you all right, guys, so that's a wrap. I mean, we just...